another example is uh, there is in Hamburg a Snagd. They have a selfie ident uh, software running. So I, I take I take a selfie from myself and hold the uh, I have the passport besides me, and then it takes a few seconds, and then they identify. Yes, this is Karin's pasta. He's he's alive, and he is it. Example I, I showed here, the, the, the claims ratio is very high, over 50%. And if you have an insurtech startup, can reduce the claim payments, that is direct profit for the company. So this is directly based based on the bottom line effective. So this would be a very good low hanging fruit. Right. So that's why I chose yeah, exactly. for yeah. example. Mm -hmm. and then also in the administration costs, one other example is. Uh, there is in Hamburg a Snack. They have a selfie ident uh, software running. So I, I take I take a selfie from myself and hold the uh, I have the passport besides me, and then it takes a few seconds, and then they identify. Yes, this is Karin's pasta. He's he's alive, and he is it. So this is also for identification. What are we doing right now? We send paper back and forth. You go to the post office. Post identity. It's a hassle. So this is also very quick and saves a lot of. Any striking examples that you could share? Mm -hmm. I think, for example, wherever you have the possibility, when you look through the value chain, wherever you have the possibility to do a plug and play, um, uh, adding of a new feature. So, um, for example, um, IMBurst comes to my mind, a startup that uh, actually offers different payment options. Because if you look at, uh, for example, um, adding PayPal uh, as a payment option, uh, and you ask an internal IT sy uh, system provider for that, um, they typically come and quote you. Uh, half a year to, to install that. Um, while the startup comes in and says, well, we have the solution, these are the APIs, uh, you can even choose what kind of payment services you want to add to that. Um, I think the second point to that, one is enabling and the other one is new, um, uh, new products, uh, wherever you have on-demand uh, insurance that is not uh, being provided yet. Um, use and go for a startup, don't reinvent the wheel. And this is something that the, 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 the tankers accept and cooperate with? Or is it something that is a parallel? Let, let's change this. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen fun. that many tankers uh, that actually do that, but one good example, I think, is Deutsche Familienversicherung from Frankfurt, where they innovate uh, products in the 4x4 matrix. It's maybe a thing. Very easy to understand, one click buy, uh, on demand, basically, insurance. Um, so that is very innovative, I think, in a, in a way. And But the big tankers probably haven't seen that yet. Haven't seen that. Well, they, they ignore it. Yeah, they ignore it. It's like so, because it's, it's not relevant. It's still small. So yeah. wait three to four years. Okay. <laughs> These guys at Deutsche Familie Versicherung are really serious. Okay. So we have one question in the so, audience. Um, I agree with you, Lucas, that um, most tankers, old insurance companies, understand uh, process optimization and they're talking about digitization, yeah, which forgets all the other topics, business model and client. Yeah? So, um, so I agree. But I disagree that. Um, Everyone is, is doing innovation heavily currently because I, I, my feeling is that um, big insurers are shrinking the innovation activities currently. Arrow, for example, has closed at Berlin um, uh, lab and moved to Eastern Europe. Um, Alliance Engine Factory is shrinking rapidly. Yeah, so um, they, I think, the phase of experimentation is now ending a little bit. They have experimented a little bit and now see okay, um, we have. Earn a lot of money, and we have to focus more. And this is my experience. Do you, do you agree, or do you have different view? But do you think they are frustrated? Mm, no, not frustrated, but maybe a little bit more focused and business. And more efficiency. <laughs> Where's the money at the end? Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Well. More and more insurance companies I visit have innovation managers, at least. Um, the the question is, do they have a mandate to actually bring people together? Uh, and I see that, yeah, and more and more do have that mandate. So they are a little bit more focused in the process of choosing innovative ideas, choosing innovative processes, I don't know. But uh, in general, reluctance is high, especially that when the hype of AI came and everybody was like, we're doing everything with AI. And obviously, some burned their fingers heavily. <laughs> uh, but now, a little more realism settles in. So I agree there.